Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. If you have ever built an NLP web application, there is a very high chance that you might have wanted to show annotated text on it. But it might have not been an easier task for you to do because you might have had to deal with CSS, uh, colors, a lot of other aspects. But if you are building using Streamlit, there is a very nice component called ST annotated text which can make it much, much, much easier. I can say that it can never get easier than that because there is one simple function that can help you do all these things. And if you are using Spacey, probably you might have seen this is quite familiar for you because Spacey gives a very nice function for you to do the same thing whenever you are doing named entity recognition. But in this case, let us assume that we are not doing named entity recognition, but just we want to show some text with some annotation and like this some colors attached to it so how do you show that on a streamlit application without doing a lot of programming and the answer to that question is st annotated text thanks to thiago who is also you know the co-founder of streamlit for this amazing library that we are going to use and see how to show annotated text the first step is make sure that you are installing streamlit and then the second step is you're installing st dash annotated dash text please make sure that you install the right package because there are a lot of malwares on pypy that is usually you know on the basis of um, um, typos so they usually if you make a typo they might you know try to uh, somebody might have published a malware application a package so you might be in trouble so make sure that you install the right package. Once you install the right package, all you have to do is create a folder. Uh, in my case, I've created a folder called Streamlit Annotated Text App. Create a folder like that and then inside that create an app.py file. So at this point, we are ready to create our first web application using Streamlit that has got annotated text. So to simply start with, I'm going to copy this, paste it here and save the file. After I save the file, I'm going to fire up my terminal and within my terminal, I'm going to simply say streamlit run app.py. When I run this thing, I'm going to get a URL where this is there. I'm going to copy that, paste it, and then you're going to see this file. So basically I've got a title, some description, which is not part of this function, but then you have got this text that has got the actual text, the annotation and then some highlight text annotation some highlight and you can see this is a repeated process so now let's go back and then understand what kind of thing is there in the code so the code is quite simple if you see so first you import streamlit package second you would need to import from annotated text import annotated text once you do that it's quite simple everything is a function which is called annotated text and within that function, whenever you want to give a text with annotation, you just have to specify it like this, the text, and then what annotation it is. And then finally, what is the color of the annotation? Same thing. So the text, what is the annotation? And what is the color of the annotation? So now you can see that we have got something like cyan. So let me change it to green color. So let me go here. And then say maybe instead of this, I want to say for verb FEA and then rerun the application, you would see that there is a different color. Maybe instead of calling it verb, I'm going to call it, let's say, um, an article. I mean, that's not right, but I'm just showing you that how you can change. So now it shows it's an article and there is a different color for it. You can change any color that you want. For example, this is white color if you want um, black color go back run it you have black color so basically whatever you want to do you can actually do with this any color that you want you can actually do so now as a simple application it's quite easy for you to do but what if you want some customization so let us assume that you want to change the way it looks so one important aspect also a very important uh, thing for us to do is this thing that you are seeing it is actually built on uh, HTBuilder 
So basically what you are seeing is an HTML component. So you have an advantage which is uh, if you see this function annotated text, you the second argument that you pass is actually the quags that directly go to the HTML component. So for example, if I want to change the width, so I have an application, if I want to change the width of the application, I just have to come the last argument, I'll say my width is equal to let's say 200. Save it, go back, rerun it, and you can see my width is now 200. So instead of this, maybe I want to say my width is 1000. Save it, rerun it, you can see this. And maybe I want to give my height. So height is equal to, let's say 100. Then come back, run it, you would see height is now 100. If I say height is equal to 10, rerun it, height is 10. If I say height is equal to 200 and rerun it, I've got the actual text. So the idea is whatever argument parameter that you want to pass or you usually pass it to the HTML component, you can still do that with annotated text again without changing a lot of code. So annotated text gives you the ability to give the text annotation and the color of it. And also if you want to make changes, you can still go ahead and then add some more components that you would typically give it to the HTML component. But what if you want to make further customization? Again, uh, thanks to the developer who's well thought about it, that we have another option, which is what I'm going to show you. now. So there is another function which is called annotation that helps you with more optimization or more, you know, color customization, I should say. So there is a style component because of that you can actually change more things. For example, I can copy this. Um, let me copy this. I can copy this, come back here and then paste it. We don't need this. Sorry. Save it. Go back. Rerun it. Okay. Annotation is not defined because we didn't import annotation. Save it. Rerun it. You can see rather than having a simple border, now uh, sorry, simple uh, squared border, what you can actually see is now a dashed red border. So if I change this color, and rerun it, you can see that you have got a different, like there is a different color for the text, there is a border, and then also if you want to change the color, you can do. So the customization doesn't stop at this level, just we saw not just at the color level, but you can also go further deep and make customization. And that is purely possible because there is a function called annotation and that takes style values, like whatever HTML style that you would give typically that you can pass it on to this as well. So if you, if you don't want dashed, so save it, rerun it, you have normal. So whatever you want to do, you can actually do with this and the customization, uh, you have the ability to either simply do, like if you want a simple highlight customization, just you can do it with this, or if you want to further go ahead and then make further customization, you can do it with annotation function and then wrap it on top of, uh, like use annotated text to wrap it on top. So these are about customization. Now let us assume that I've got a list, list. Okay, so I'm going to call it my um, NER list. I mean, I'm not doing any NER, but I just wanted to say that I've got an NER list. So my list goes like this. Uh, I've got, uh, let's say Apple, or I should say I love, and then I'm going to say Apple, but instead of this, I'm going to have it like a tuple. I'm going to say Apple, this is a fruit and the color that I want to give is um, hash F A A. Okay. So let's say I have something like this. I love Apple and, and it's very, oops, and it is very good. Okay. So if I have a list like this, which is usually easier to build than, you know, like a, like a text, like what we did. So what would you do? What, like what to do in this case? Do you, like, do you want to actually convert it to character and then do something? Or is there a way for you to do? So the simplest way is if I have something like this, I'm going to say annotated text of start in your list. Now this is getting passed for you 
and you don't have to do anything so simple text you can give customization you can do and then if you have a list then you can just pass it on to this like this and then that would help you do everything that you want for example now i want to add something else uh, all i have to do is i have to append a list append something new and it is a very good it is a very good company let's say i want to say company and i can go here just add this or i can even show you the append thing right so i have let's say i have i have a new in here is equal to i want to say company which is org and then my color is going to be i'm going to pick a color from here fa okay i have something like this so what i have to do is i have to say ner underscore list dot append dot new ner okay once i do this thing i have to run this let's see how it looks so you can see i love apple it's a very good company all so basically we learned how to create a simple annotated text i mean not annotated text but to visualize or display annotated text we also learned how to go further deep and then make customization we also learned how to use a list existing list and then display it as annotated text one final thing before we wind up which is oh we have got characters here but what if i want to use something else like what if i want to use uh, symbols the easiest option that you have you can do is you can use emoticons let me take emoticon for um, check mark okay if i want to use a check mark emoticon probably like a tick mark i'll go here let me just copy the emoticon okay i can copy this emoticon oops or simply i can come here and then paste it um instead of this i can say what emoticon i want oh, let's say i want to give this emoticon here and then in here i want to say this sorry copy paste it here now save it go back and run it so you can actually see that i can give an emoticon so for for example now whatever this green color is there i can actually give this so that you get a feeling of you know something is right and something is wrong so for example if you want to build an application let's say spelling correction application and then you want to show it to people that one spelling is correct and the other spelling is wrong uh, all i have to do is cross yeah all i have to do is like this um, let me use this color which is a yeah if i rerun it you can see so it is basically you are indicating that this is correct this is wrong and this is primarily possible because you can also use emoticons so let's say you want to build a spelling correction application so all all you have to do is use the right uh, check mark use the wrong check mark and then you ultimately have a web application where people can type something and then you can show whether it is right or wrong and um, fix spelling all these things so the possibilities are really endless and uh, you have got a lot of uh, customization option and then everything is possible with just only one function which is annotated text and if you want further um, you know customization you can simply use annotation and wrap annotated text on like on top of it so ultimately one package for you to do a lot of uh, text highlighting or uh, displaying you know how highlighted or annotated text would ideally look like whether it is named entity recognition whether it is uh, the right and wrong question or whether it is you know something like a spelling correction application you can build a whole new uh, set of uh, nlp streamlit application and this would be really really useful uh, for anybody who does uh, entity recognition or any such um, nlp task if you like this application or li like this package please go ahead and give a star this would mean a lot Uh, and also please give a shout out to the developer on uh, twitter or linkedin if you like this video please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and then give a thumbs up and share it with your friends it would mean a lot to me thank you so much for listening to me if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise stay safe